A concerning storm system is moving across the country this week, presenting the threat for significant severe weather, heavy rain, and heavy snow as we go through the week. We'll be outlining which areas can be impacted with that as we go through this video. Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. It's absolutely free to do when you get detailed weather breakdowns across North America and the tropics on this channel. And be sure to press the thumbs up button down below. It helps out more than you know. So getting into the weather forecast today, we have a pretty significant storm system moving across the western United States today. It'll be diving down across the Rockies and into the Four Corners region. And then as we go into early this work week on Monday, we're going to start to see this taking on more of a negative tilt across the deep south. And this actually means significant severe weather will be in the cards as we go into early this week before the storm system starts to slowly weaken as we get toward the middle of the week on Tuesday and into Wednesday. So let's look at our precipitation map for today into tonight. Heavier snows across the Rockies out there across Idaho. Western Montana getting down into Utah there, parts of the Four Corners region. We got some heavier snows for the Rockies. We do have some precipitation out across the Great Plains, mostly in the form of some rain up here into Nebraska, Kansas, getting into northwestern Missouri, and then some thunderstorm activity a little bit further to the south across Oklahoma and into North Texas. But before we look at that, we have some pl a plentiful heavy snow across the West Western United States, across the Rockies, the Sierras, a couple more feet of snow into the higher elevations of Washington State and Oregon, and even a few inches down there into the Sierras as we go through the next 48 hours. But our main highlight will be the potential for severe weather with this storm as we go through the early portion of this week. The Storm Prediction Center is already highlighting portions of Oklahoma here with a level one out of five, a marginal risk of severe storms, which means isolated severe thunderstorms will be possible across the Oklahoma City metro area, Norman, and then north and east from there toward Tulsa. So if you live in these areas, be on the lookout for severe weather this afternoon. And as we go into this evening, all modes of severe weather will be possible, including tornadoes, Let's break it down a little bit further for you folks here. We have some instability working into Oklahoma, and it's not the strongest instability in the world. It's around 1,000 joules per kilogram, but definitely enough for some energy out there for thunderstorms. But the main player with this is a little bit further to the south. The wind shear is a little bit stronger in Texas, displaced further to the south from the strongest instability, which is up into Oklahoma. So that is why why we have a marginal risk of severe weather in Oklahoma. If this was a little bit further to the north, it would probably be a slight risk or higher because of more wind shear helping to organize these thunderstorms a little bit further as we go through today. So that's the limiting factor with our thunderstorms. That's some good news. We don't want severe weather. So looking at the coverage of showers and storms later on this afternoon and into the evening, popcorn type thunderstorms across Oklahoma and North Texas, any one of these storms will be capable of producing severe weather with damaging winds and large hail the main mode, but an isolated brief tornado will be possible, especially if we can get these discrete or semi-discrete supercells to develop down here across the Southern Plains. And then the bigger day of the two will be on Monday. This is early on the work week, the Storm Prediction Center broad brushing a slight risk of severe weather. That's a level two out of five on the scale with level two again in toward the middle of the scale. And you see that across eastern Texas, southern Oklahoma, uh, southern Arkansas getting in toward portions of Louisiana and into Mississippi covering the Tyler, Texas region on up in toward the Shreveport, Baton Rouge region and then further east toward Jackson, Mississippi as we go into Monday. And this does include the threat for tornadoes. We have a 5% shading 
four tornadoes across East Texas, Southern Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi, again, including the Tyler, Texas region, Shreveport, Baton Rouge, and Jackson, Mississippi, as we go into Monday. So we want to be on the lookout for this. And this actually could include a stronger tornado as well. We have a little bit more instability as we go into Monday, a little bit further to the north. So definitely seeing that as we go through the peak daytime heating. And we have that wind shear that's overlapping that instability a lot more on Monday than we see today. So that's why the threat of severe weather is a little bit higher as we go into Monday because those storms will be able to organize a lot more with the wind shear and the energy out there. So let's take a walk through the timing here. Monday morning, we got some scattered showers and storms across portions of Missouri, down into western Arkansas, southeastern Oklahoma, and northeast Texas. Now, at this point, severe weather is not that likely as we not haven't had a lot of energy built up ahead of the storms on Monday morning, but as we get the energy to build and go into Monday afternoon, we have a broken line of supercells developing here, and we really have to watch the storms that develop out ahead of the main line for tornado genesis here as we go into Monday afternoon, those storms would be the ones to produce possibly a strong tornado or so across Louisiana into Mississippi on Monday afternoon. And just looking at a sounding here from Louisiana into Mississippi across the deep south, it is showing a PDS tornado tag, which means a strong tornado very much is in the cards if all the ingredients come together just right as we go into Monday. And then as we go into Monday night, we'll shift from a tornado threat more to a damaging wind and hail threat with very heavy rain as we have a squall line from portions of Tennessee down through Alabama, Mississippi, and down toward the New Orleans region into Louisiana. But even overnight Monday, after dark, we still have to keep an eye on these supercells out ahead of the main line for Tornado Genesis as we go into Monday night. So definitely keeping an eye on that day for severe weather. Moving ahead beyond Monday into Tuesday and Tuesday night, the storm system will slowly weaken as it pushes further toward the east coast. Just generally some rain shower and garden variety thunderstorms from Virginia down through the Carolinas and Georgia. It will be cold enough for snow up here into southeastern Canada and interior New England towards upstate New York as we go Tuesday into Tuesday night. And then that will spread more snow across interior New England as we go into Wednesday. Rainfall accumulation this week plentiful across the southeast widespread rainfall amounts of one to three inches are in the cards across much of the southeastern United States and that is some good news when looking at the drought concerns as well and the cold side of the storm will be producing at least a few inches across southeastern Canada especially into Quebec there and zooming it in across New England there's a potential at least on grassy surfaces where we could be seeing a few inches of snow from northern PA there into Pennsylvania through upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and even in towards Maine. And who knows, maybe even as far south as Massachusetts. So we will be keeping an eye on this as we go through the week. That is for sure. Now, looking ahead to Thanksgiving Day, our big holiday coming up on Thursday this week. And you can see here's your high temperatures. It's going to be very cold with that snowpack up into southern Canada, a little bit chilly down there into the northern tier of the United States. But then as you go further south, we're going to be seeing cooler weather, but mild weather as we go in towards your Thanksgiving Day with temperatures into the 50s, all told. And looking at the wind chills further north, yeah, with that deep snowpack and temperatures very cold into the single digits. Digits for highs on Thanksgiving in southern Canada, our temperatures for wind chills will actually be well below zero, possibly 15 to even 20 degrees below zero there in towards Ontario, Manitoba, and Saskatchewan as we go into Thanksgiving Day. Much warmer to the south, even the teens across the northern tier is a whole different world from our below zero wind chills further to the north. So definitely seeing that on Thanksgiving. As we go through the precipitation map on Thanksgiving, we have some precipitation to note across southeastern Texas, southern Louisiana. This will be rain. No severe weather expected with this round of precipitation down there. 
But our next storm system moving in across the northern Rockies will be presenting us with at least some lighter snow as we go through Thanksgiving. And it will be piling up into those higher elevations. Several more inches will be occurring there, especially centered across Wyoming as we go into that Thanksgiving day time frame itself. And then beyond Thanksgiving, from Friday, November 24th, right straight through the end of November here as we close out the month on the 30th, it's going to be well below normal. We got an Arctic blast moving further to the south in the wake of our strong storm system this week, and that will be bringing us well below average temperatures. Any above average temperatures will be across central and southern Florida, and that is it across the United States. So definitely a nice vacation spot if you like warmer weather, that is for sure. And we're going to be drying out across the Pacific Northwest as we go toward late November. The northern tier across the upper Great Lakes and New England will be drier. Near normal precipitation across the Ohio Valley. And then we have more active weather across the Four Corners region, the Great Plains here, and across the southeast. And this does include the Gulf Coast states as well as we go through late November. And you can see as we go into next weekend, that snow line is going to be pushing a little bit further to the south because the colder air will be pushing further south. So any precipitation that falls within that cold air will likely be in the form of snow. And that could be as far south as the Amarillo region, Albuquerque, and even in towards western Oklahoma as we go in towards next weekend on the 25th and 26th of November and then the following week to finish up November a lot of wet weather near the Gulf Coast there from coastal Texas through portions of coastal Louisiana southern Mississippi southern Alabama and even northern Florida Florida has been very wet lately it's likely to remain that way straight through the rest of the month of November and looking at the rainfall accumulation as we go through that following week you can see a lot of heavy rain there several more inches of rainfall across especially the Gulf Coast states but also Florida is definitely going to see that from around Jacksonville back through Orlando Tallahassee Panama City those areas very heavy rain for the following week that's going to be some good news though for the drought so um, we have wet weather gloomy weather coming as we go through the next several days across the southern United States but it does bode well with our drought because we're in extreme and exceptional drought and it is really starting to expand across the Gulf Coast and the southeast so we'll take any moisture we can get as we have it here in towards next weekend and the following week. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel down below if you like today's weather forecast and especially you like detailed weather breakdowns in North America and the tropics. It's free to do, so subscribe down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you like today's weather content, and I hope everybody has a great rest of their weekend out there.